Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, you know, we talk about uh, Windows 11. And yesterday we, of course, have Panos Panay, which is the head of Windows and of the um, device team, give all of these numbers. And, you know, <laughs> companies are interesting in that way because they kind of send out tons of information but never give actual numbers of anything. And you start looking at it and you're like, okay, so they said that Windows adoption rate of, for Windows 11 is two times, three times that of Windows 10. But then it's, yeah, at what moment? At the beginning? Good. Now? Uh, what? What's the, you know, you, you try to, to find a sense of what moment did you choose to give that number? And um, same thing is the... They say that Windows 11 adoption is amazing, but you have no numbers of, you know, and they know, actually. They really know. But they give no numbers of how many millions of Windows 11 versus Windows 10. That's another, you know, what what is the number? It'd be fun to know, but they just don't give out the numbers. So it's like every company. I mean, Apple does the same thing. They will say, well, this iPhone is four times as better or faster as, uh, you know, uh, this model or this previous model. And it's like, yeah, but four times faster where and how, and you know, uh, it's, it's not necessarily always four, four times faster or, you know, uh, companies are very general in, in trying to talk about their products and of course, always making their products like, oh, well, this is the number one thing in the world. So... The actual real thing that that we can only know is, you know, when some company with its own statistics gives us numbers of how much market share Windows 11 has versus Windows 10 and, you know, the adoption rate over time. But that we have to rely on third party data, which is kind of interesting. One number that is interesting to me that I would definitely like to see is what is the percentage? What is the market share? If we take Windows 11 only, how many Windows PCs are supported PCs and unsupported PCs? I would love to see that statistic. How many people upgraded to Windows 11 on a machine that is not technically supported? Um, is it half of Windows 11, a quarter of Windows 11, more than half? You know, because when we have that 10% number of, well, roughly 10% are on Windows 11, okay, but how much of that 10% is actually unsupported hardware? That also would be interesting to know. And uh, these are numbers we don't really have access to. And there must, of course, be a way to know when a machine is or not. And I'm sure Microsoft has all those details, but we'll never release those information, you know. So anyways, we'll see how the uh, adoption rate goes with uh, 1.4 billion PCs now or, or, you know, machines running Windows, Windows. That is kind of interesting to see that for the first time in a long time, there's actually an expansion of the PC market, which is something that we totally didn't, see coming before the pandemic um you know pc sales were down and um it seemed like the pc was a thing of the past that was slowly dying and suddenly we have what is one of the best years in 2021 for pc sales which is almost at the same level as the height of the pc market in 2012 2011 so it'll be interesting to see all of that go through in the next year two years three years and uh, see that, uh, well, it, maybe it took a pandemic for uh, those numbers to come through and to see that people understood they need a computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.